Good morning, GCAA, and welcome to this month's episode of the Phoenix Report. I'm Quinlan Holt. In this month's Big Questions, we asked students what love means to them. To me, love is like a really good feeling that you have for another person. Like you'll do anything for that person that you really care about. Love means when you absolutely like adore a person and you do anything for them. It doesn't have to necessarily be like romantic, like I want to date you, but like with friends or family or anybody really, just someone that you enjoy being around and you all click well and like I said, you do anything for them. Yeah. Love, um, love means to me that knowing that um, you'll unconditionally be there for somebody. You know, it's not always that, oh, cute love and the hallway stuff. It's that being able to stick with someone through the hard times, through the rough patches, through every single thing and loving them no matter what. I would say um, love means a desire to help or um, be closer with someone. Well, it means to me like you put all your trust and your courage and so it's a like one person body so work. not like literally but like you y'all have a like a strong bond basically we sat down to talk with middle school social studies teacher arnez newton i've been pretty captivated by our visual artists to the point that i collect student artwork and have my own personal grants and arts academy student gallery my first year here where, you know, students would come into my room all the time with art projects that they had done for classes after they got their grade, sometimes they were just like, hey, do you want this? And I started keeping artwork from that pr particular group of students and I've continued it every year. I try to make sure that students know that I acknowledge their presence as a person before, you know, the student label, above the student label. Um, you know, little simple stuff. I try to pay attention. If you change your hair, I'll probably make a comment. Um, and I just try to be, be pretty personal with each student as an individual as opposed to just, you're a bunch of kids. Like, no, I like to get to know each of you for who you are. And I also, have no fear of allowing you to know who I am beyond just a teacher. So I think that's what, I think that's the trick for me. Yeah. The Black History STEAM Museum was Thursday, February 22nd. So we talked to some attendees about their experience. Um, it's really inspiring. I see stuff that I really didn't know about and like, yeah. You can learn more about your background and other people's background. And if you don't know anything about history, then it's actually a good idea to come out and support the school and support Black History Month. I think it's pretty well fleshed out with like very like all these different stories about like historical Black figures. I think it's really empowering to some, uh, to people, and it can and it definitely can make an impact, especially in all these different types of art forms. And the fact that like all this effort and and everything just went into all these pieces, I think it's really good. It's really nice. I mean, I don't know, because it's, it's like, it's color and everything, but it's not as much as, it's not as, it's not a lot that could have been like portrayed, I guess so. Um, yeah, I do think they should do it next year. Uh, yeah. I think we should throw it out there more though, and not just to, people and their families, like everybody, in the community and all that. For even more stories and school news, check out GCAAToday.com. If you have a story idea or a news tip, email us at tips at GCAAToday.com. For the Phoenix Report and GCAA Student Media, I'm Quinlan Holt. Thanks for watching.